Hello Gunpla fans, this is Joe of Joe's Gunpla here with another video and I'm going to do a review of the mobile suit uh, that you see in front of you, the Master Grade Fenice Renesita. Um, now, I have not completed the accessories yet, so we won't go over accessories or the transformation in this video, but I do want to do a video on the Gundam itself. So let's go ahead and get started, put him in a standard boring reviewers pose all right let's go ahead and get started with articulation the head is on a ball joint so it goes all over the place it actually I think sits a little higher than it needs to but that's just personal taste uh, it also does a uh, nice back and forth it can you can make him look practically all the way straight up um, or he'll go back really far and it'll look down pretty far as well. The shoulders are typical uh, EW master grade shoulders. They'll go forward about like that. And full 360 at the shoulder. Uh, this here opens up, revealing a thruster. Also be careful that you don't pop that off, which I just did. And maybe it, maybe maybe okay um, this here the beam cape emitter goes up and down like that all told the arm will go just about straight out and that's about it not much higher than that 360 below the shoulder you got two joints at the elbow giving you a pretty full range bend there ball jointed wrists there is another joint here uh, just below so you can get your wrist up pretty high there uh, the arm guards, they've got the claws that move individually. Is my camera not focusing? There we go. Claws that move individually like this. And this guy moves up and down as well. Okay, in the torso we've got, um, if I can figure out, I forgot how it happens. But it does happen. We have an opening cockpit. This comes up. This this does not pop off it's not supposed to pop off forgive me I don't normally do reviews uh, it goes up like this you can see the little pilot figure in there okay cool um, we've got a belly ball joint a ball joint at the waist so you can get it to go side to side like that however it's gonna stop because of the front skirt armor the side skirt armor is on a really wacky hinge probably for the transformation which I haven't gotten to in the manual but it goes out that far front skirt armor is on a hinge and ball joint combination and also tends to pop out pretty easy as is the case with most of these EW kits uh, but you can get it up that far back skirt armor is on a hinge well actually two ball joints but it's all one piece so it's like a hinge and your hips will go forward about like that and back like that sideways almost a full 90 got some swivel here knees have two or three joints in there so you get a pretty decent bend but just because of the design of this back piece here it's really not going to go that far but you got a really cool knee separation here I tend to like it pointed out I feel like it's more like a weapon that way you can really jab someone but um, it does automatically bend flat like that on the back of the leg we've got a thruster here that will go up and down the pods on the side of the leg pop open like this. The thruster automatically wants to bend it downward, but you can adjust it out like so. Um, the ankles have, well, it's it's a strange hinge mechanism in here uh, left over from the TV wing. So you get a lot of strange wiggle in there. Um, the ankle armor itself is on a hinge 
that wants to go forward and back like this. But it's so big, and it's kind of tight around the ankle, it doesn't want to move a lot. Um, so you really have to rely on the ball joint down here, which is very stiff, which is good. It's got a good stiff ball joint there. And then the toes will go down, also for the transformation, they'll also go up pretty far. Which, this here feels a little loose, so he gets a little bit of stability issue when it comes to posing uh, the way I had it earlier. Um, oh, and the wings. Don't forget the wings. Backpack, it will go in and out. Also, they're on a hinge together, so both wings go up at the same time when you do it like uh, when you lift it up right there. Uh, there's a hinge here. This guy goes back and forth like this and this part of the wing comes out and this is all kind of interconnected so you're going to get that nice split right there so overall uh, so far with this build I really do enjoy um, the kit itself uh, I think the details are all there one thing I do want to point out is the little gray bits in here that's molded in uh, the yellow pieces go over the frame so you get that really cool effect and you don't have to use a marker or anything like in the uh, Proto Zero had that issue where it's just a big giant uh, yellow thing. Um, nub placement isn't too awful uh, because of uh, the way I'm building this I'm kind of doing a speed run. Um, I haven't really trimmed anything up carefully. I've just been using my uh, God Hand brand, but not the God Hand uh, Carrero Sergeant Frog uh, nippers. Um, so, and they've been working really well, keeping things relatively clean. Um, the details on this kit, I mean, they're exactly what you're going to expect from a modern Master Grade. It looks really cool. I love the design itself, um, this sort of knight-styled knee armor, um, and it's even got little vents poking out there, I don't know if you can see that on either one of the knees, um, but it's just a really cool looking mobile suit in and of itself, and I think um, the, the overall articulation is really good. Um, I do like that the side skirts move a lot. So you can kind of get them out of the way when you're doing some posing with the legs. Uh, one thing that I find rather strange about the design is uh, this this guard here on the hand. I don't know if it's going to hinder anything when we have weapons put into the hands. Um, but it, it moves out of the way pretty easily, so I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. Um, one other thing that I would like to point out, because I forgot to mention it, is that the hands do have the typical closed fist gripping hand, pistol grip hand, and splayed fingers. Um, the only thing posable on there is the thumb on a ball joint. Typical, uh, you know, Wing Gundam series hands with the finger swapping. Uh, so that's, you know, to be expected from something that's sharing the frame uh, with a good portion of the uh, TV wing. Um, I don't think there's really anything else that I need to point out. No real trouble spots as far as loose parts or anything. Uh, everything went together really nice and smooth. And I think that's it. So overall, so far, it's a really, really great Master Grade. Um, the ironic thing is that I had originally decided to pass uh, on this kit for a while. I was going to take a break from buying normal Master Grade releases, and then I fell into a situation where I've had uh, several of these guys fall into my lap for a project, and so I'm trying to build um, quite a few of these very quickly. Uh, and I know that my light is sort of oversaturating the situation here right now, which is why I had it turned for the review. Um, but yeah, so far that's it. Um, I can't wait to really... I mean, the first thing I'm going to build next, uh, once I get the accessories, is this beam cape. Um, really 
curious to see how well this is going to work. I'm very worried about these very, very thin... Let me see if I can get a zoom in on that. I'm trying to get my camera to focus on something very close up, and it's not. There we go. Okay. These, uh, these hinges here, these joints, really worry me as far as stability goes, because clear plastic can be so very brittle. Um... So we'll see how that goes, and I will keep you guys up to date. Um, should have everything finished up tomorrow morning, and I'll have a finished review uh, of all the accessories and the transformation uh, tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow night. Uh, it might be Saturday. We'll see what happens. And until next time, guys, happy building, be good to each other, and buy yourself a uh, Fenice Renesita. This thing's pretty sweet. Bye.